Welcome back, chefs. Uh, tell me, has it been as testing a day in the kitchen as it has been in here? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I must say, I have to congratulate you on really having built on the standards that you set yourself yesterday. I mean, I think you really threw down the gauntlet to yourselves and you certainly threw it down for us in here. Yeah, it's tough. I know all your legs are shaking now, because mine certainly was, and it's much easier this side, so don't let them kid you, it's not. <laughs> now, as you know, this is a competition and we've been marking steadily through the day and we've aggregated the scores and uh, I'm now going to announce the results the rankings in reverse order. In eighth place, it's... Alan. Alan, I think that was a hugely courageous try, but I don't think you pulled it off. First of all, the beef wasn't quite as good as I thought it should be. Um, there were too many morels. The mash wasn't perfect. I thought it was really disappointing. Were you pleased with it? No. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> In seventh place... ..is... ..Kenny. The feeling was a little bit wintry. Was it maybe just a touch too heavy for the banquet in, in summer? No, can't argue with it. Can't argue that was whatsoever. In sixth place, it's... Will. Will, you're moving up there, aren't you? That's, uh, that's great news. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, didn't, I didn't want a hat-trick of eight. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was the crown, you know, the crown just drooped, basically. You know, the level of competition is so fierce and so many dishes have improved so much that that's what it took. What yeah. do you feel? No, I, I couldn't agree more. In fifth place, it's going to be... Nile. My only complaint was that the bone marrow was a little bit raw in the middle, cold and sort of fatty, and it was very garlicky, overpoweringly garlicky. What can I say? Uh, take, take it on the chin, but uh, that's it. Can't say anything. <laughs> As you know, we've been announcing the top three chefs for each course so that we have total flexibility when we come to plan the banquet menu. So we've now reached the fourth place. And the chefs remaining are Alid, Lisa, Nathan, and Tom. Now, oh, who's going to be the one who misses out on that top three? Well, there's going to be no fourth place because we had a tie so that all four of you are still in the running to cook your main course at the banquet. <laughs> so, congratulations yeah. to all four of you.